Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? This is your reading, okay? Leo, 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 Leo. I'm gonna clear the energy really quick. Leo, okay. I want to do a Celtic cross, okay? That four of earth security came out right away. Um, I feel like this is going to be, there's something about a destined meeting. A destined meeting that is going to happen. I feel like you're going to have a lot of opportunities to significantly increase your abundance, your, you know, flow of money that you have coming in for you here. Cards are just flying out. Um, the Son of Air is the Page of Swords. You could have someone wanting to reach out to you somebody who has their eye on you someone that wants to learn more about you I feel like some of you are going to get some abundance that you have been praying for and hoping for it's like you're going to turn something around just in time, you're going to start to see the progress that you need. You know, it's like reminding me of something that Abraham Hicks always says that, you know, when you start to get on this road of deliberate manifestation and then it's kind of like, you know, people right before they're just about to lose it all, then they get their big break. You know what I mean? Uh, you hear of that, you know, often. And it's like people will almost lose everything and then they get this huge surge of an increase. And I don't think you're that far off as far as like losing everything or something like that, no. But I think that there's something that you're very worried about and you have a date in your mind as to when you need something to happen by. And I feel like you're gonna see that you're worrying for no reason here. That security card wanted to come out again. So I think you're about to have a lot of uh, financial security coming in for you here. Let's see. Okay. Leo. You know, here is this son of air again. You have five of water loss. This is the five of cups card. Okay, but there's two cups full and then there's three that are broken and then you have balance that is the what's crossing you that's the challenge so you know this really feels like there's some things here that you're let you're letting go of and now you know you lost some things i feel like in the past or some things in the recent past that you had to let go of that you had to lose and so now spirit is bringing it into balance because it's like there needs to be a space for something. It's like, you know, in the uh, um, in the secret, they talk about, you know, you have to make room for what you want, you know. So people that are, you know, yeah, <laughs> the ace of water. <laughs> so if you want love to come in, you know, you have to make room for it. You have to be open to it. You know, you can't just like be obsessed with work and so focused on that and whenever somebody talks to you just shoot them down it's like you know there has to be a certain level of openness here you have the high priestess here there's something here that's coming there's something's coming and you already know about it look at this transformation and love i'm telling you okay <laughs> There's some things, there's some situations, there's some people, there's something that you may be invested in that you have to let go of. It's probably multiple things. Uh, relationships with people needed to transform and change. Doesn't mean that you had to cut every single person out of your life, but for some of you, kind of feels like you did here. Uh, you have the mother of earth here. So resources. So this is like the queen of pentacles. So the queen of pentacles knows how to use her resources. You know, there is somebody in the kingdom who is a gossip. And when she has some information that she needs to know, 
<laughs> you know, that, you know, she wants to go to someone who's truthful and honest that she can trust. She's not going to go to this gossip person. But let's say she wants to spread something. She wants people to think a certain thing. She's going to invite this gossip woman to tea and she's going to tell her a little or hint to a little something. And then the gossip chain is going to get started. You know what I mean? So the queen of pentacles, she knows how to use her resources. And it's not always a negative thing. What I just said sounded kind of negative, but I'm not getting that indication. It's just kind of like, and not in a way of using people, but you know, you don't want to, um, I don't know, invite someone who's a downer on your vacation. You know, you want to invite that fun person, that fun free person. And if you're going somewhere and you want to learn something and you, you're going to want to invite somebody who also has that kind of knowledge. So I feel like you're just learning how you, know, you don't need to share everything with everyone because not everyone gets it. And that's just, that's just it. That's their right. That's their prerogative. And that's okay. That's the message for that. So let's see. Uh, what's what's the root here what's the root of this you know you got things flying out here two of air inner peace so you know coming to some sort of a decision here something being blocked out for your own inner peace there's could be a person group of people circumstance situation that it's like you know is this contributing to my inner peace or is this pulling away from it ultimately we want to make ourselves in a way that no matter where we are no matter what circumstance or situation we find ourselves in no one can disturb our inner peace right but some people make it a heck of a whole lot easier and some people just don't and some people are just not vibing where you're at they're not going where you're going there's a lot of Things that loss, cut out, done with, for things to come into balance here. You know, this is very, very interesting. You have the two cups left over. We have this balance card. She's balancing something on her head. So this is a decision that she had to make. How much water she's going to put in this thing. She needs to know, needs to be precise about, this is what I can handle this is what i can deal with and that's what i can't and then you know look at all these dragonflies around signifying transformation signifying as well um social and emotional intelligence okay so if there's certain people that are messing with that or that don't have that you know i feel like you already you know grounded you're grounded in this blocking to create your own inner peace and that's it and when those people are you know in a vibration of peace then they can come back around you and and that's just it um so this is what is kind of you're learning you have learned within yourself what you need to do going forward you have the spiritual warrior this is what is crowning you. So you're really learning this call within you, the balance within you, how to listen to what's right and how to trust the universe. And you don't know what's on the other side. You don't know. It's like a huge trust fall. But you do know because you do know that spirit has your back. You do know that you have created this balance within yourself, within your soul. And you have gotten to a place where you can actually trust yourself. So it feels like a hard time is over and now is when these blessings come in but i want to see the uh recent past you know we had to have three cards come out come on okay mother of fire queen of wands you in your energy, you in your energy and learning to hold your queen of wands, holds her vibration and things come to her growth. There was a lot of growth that you did in the past. There's a lot of things you had to get rid of in order for the forest to grow anew. What needs to happen? It needs to burn down, right? We burn down that forest and then from those ashes, the growth that, you know, unfolds afterwards is so much more. So you just went through a huge like you know, period of that. And now it's time. Now we're starting to see the growth that's coming out here for you. So it's like you stood strong in your power. You did what was right for you. You stood up for yourself here in a way with people and you stood up for your own integrity. 
you stood up for your own integrity and this is something that spirit you know has been pushing you towards doing for like quite some time here so let's again all of these cards are just flying out wow okay so i want to see what's in the near future oh no you may want to look up the spiritual meaning of dragonflies. There could be an added message in there for you. So if you're feeling the call to look that up, there could be more uh, of a message for you there that spirit is wanting you to know. Okay, so let's see. Nine of Earth Abundance. There's something here that you're growing. There's something here that is ready now to um, happen here. And, you know, this is... Uh, significant stability you're building some stability here you're building something here you're creating something at this time you have a lot of opportunities that are being presented to you and spirit wants you to know that this is because of the work that you did because of the what you went through and you working on yourself this is about you putting yourself forward and believing in yourself pouring your energy into yourself and now this is all coming back around you so there is a certain acceptance of self and self-respect that has happened here and now is the time of you know i'm not going to accept just how anyone treats me i'm not just going to let anyone into my life no i'm not going to do that you know i want to see um what's influencing this daughter of air you know she's really closing her eyes here she's really listening here this card reminds me a lot a lot a lot a lot in this particular deck of the high priestess high priestess and like hermit combined choosing to go off on your own and listen okay uh you have the shaman card here you know any fears that you have about trusting yourself about trusting your calling and your path when you have the shaman card here this is indication that you are moving in the right direction you are moving in the direction that you need to be moving in and that you can trust yourself you can trust your intuition at this time and you're you're following within yourself what's right for you at this time you have a great ability to help other people heal to help other people see all sides of things but you now understand that it's up to them whether they do or not and um, you're ready and you're here for those who are ready who are up to this journey and look at this three of cups in the fullness and look at the medicine woman here this is you know the high priestess card so this is something that this is a really good indication here that you're moving into a direction of a commitment and it could be a commitment that's showing up quite slowly here look at this medicine man card you have it's like taking some time but that's because of clarity that needs to be developed and you're developing something that is based off of a connection that somebody wants to build something that's going to last and somebody wants to learn things about you and somebody wants to build trust look at this inner order um eight of earth okay so somebody wants to uh you know create something here three of fire integrity so this person has integrity so they're not rushing into anything look at the six of earth breakthrough okay so this is uh different because i feel like you're used to people just kind of wanting to rush into this you want to rush into things and this is not about rushing into things six of fire victory okay and nine of water joy so this is about someone here look at her she is by herself at this waterfall so she is choosing her own path to joy and trusting that this will lead the way for her here okay her joy will lead the way for her here and she can follow that and everything is going to come together it's not something that she needs to make happen that she needs to rush into people of the past you know they were very infatuated with you and they wanted to rush into something and you wanted to rush into something because you had a lot of excitement and you saw the good you know in 
somebody that maybe didn't deserve that and it wasn't actually there it was an illusion you know and so now this is something that's taking some time and that frightens you maybe perhaps because it's like is this genuine because why is it taking so long right You have the seven of water excess and the high priestess. The seven of water is seven of cups, overthinking. So this is like thinking, 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 having too many options, too much choice. It's like, are you worried that somebody has too many options? And so then you're worried about how this is gonna go. Um, and spirit wants you to know that Look at this four of water abundance. You guys are destined for a lot here. It's like, even if somebody has a lot of options, they want to choose you. And that's what spirit wants you to know. Is that, yeah, there's a person that has a lot of options. And you know that they have a lot of options. But you're not, you're, you're not a competitor. You're not going to compete, right? Um, that is just... Look at this, six of water pleasure. It's like this person, they see the gift that you are, that you bring. And so there is nothing wrong with competition. There is nothing wrong with other people around that maybe are interested in a person and a connection or that um, you, know, you need to worry about in any way because there is somebody that sees the genuine part of you and nobody else has that. And this is about you being at your best, everybody else around you also being at their best. And this person choosing you because they want you. And this is like a six of fire victory. This is something that the universe is putting before you for a reason. Something because you're meant to triumph over it. Okay. There's a lot of fulfillment. There's a lot of abundance here for you that you deserve. I want to see the outcome. And then we're going to clarify really quick. You have the 10 of air, negative thinking. Don't let yourself look at this high priestess. You're getting downloads and stuff, but there's some worry here. There's some worry here. You're not sure what's gonna happen we're gonna see more about this when we clarify but there's something here about you know you have to leave something behind in order for new to come forward and look at this contemplation it's something that you have been thinking about for quite some time for some of you you already left this behind and going forward with these new visions with these new ideas that you have with the high priestess it's like there's a little bit of negative thinking about it but what if i put everything into this and it doesn't work out yeah you have stress now here at the bottom here so it's like you know i feel like ultimately this is something you're going to overcome you have the fool here okay so there are opportunities here where things are coming in and things are coming together this is a reading where it's like you're your own you can be your own worst enemy and spirit is warning you right so tarot can be a warning right so this is something that is a potential outcome but it doesn't have to be the outcome because you don't have to line up with this so there's something here about opening up and following your impulses here and not allowing negative thinking or self-doubt to pull you back okay so let's see this five of cups here in in this in this reading what is this five of cups about here five of cups look at this eight of pentacles we have the nine of cups and the full so this is about, um, it's, look at this, the moon here. So this is the unknown. It's like going forth. You're focusing on something here that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, but it's the unknown. You're not saying yes to or engaging in the same ways of meeting someone that you used to do in the past. 
And so this is an unknown as far as I don't know what's going to happen with this. For some of you, you could have something that's going to happen with a Pisces or Cancer or with an Aries person. Doesn't necessarily have to be one of those signs, okay? But there is something about a particular person that it's like you're kind of focused on you know taking this new leap of faith with this person and being balanced within yourself and is this going to come to fruition this can also be about you know something that's new that you are doing this new journey that you're embarking on something that you know brings you a lot of joy and happiness that you've been focusing on for a long long time so there's something here that is ending for a new opportunity to come forward here and some of you already it's like you've already been working on multiple things and one thing is not it and the other thing is it. And um, very quickly, Spirit is going to help you see what that is for you if you don't know. Okay. So, yeah, you have the two of swords here. So Spirit is going to help you. You know, you have the two of air and the two of swords here twice. So this is Spirit letting you know, yeah, it's going to be very clear what needs to be like done with within yourself you're going to get a feeling within your very body like no and spirit wants you to follow that because there is a tendency to slip back into old patterns but it's like no spirit doesn't want you to do that at this time here like you have the ace of wands there is something that is being blocked for you because something else is better this is reminding me of there was a story of a person who made silly putty and they made silly putty to clean chimneys. That was the function of silly, silly putty. And then when they got chimney sweeps or chimneys stopped becoming a thing, I don't really know why, but nobody needed chimney sweep cleaner anymore. So the owner of silly putty is like, okay, well now my, my business is done. But he had, you know, his sister-in-law was a teacher and she told him, she's like, you know, my kids love playing with, you know, they play with silly, silly putty all the time. It keeps them very entertained. And so he remarketed it as a toy for children. <laughs> what he already had. And, you know, so there's like something is coming up as an ending here, as a block, as a don't go that way. No. Every time you try to go that way, it just doesn't work and everything is very difficult. But there's other way that is very easy, that is very open, that just comes to you very naturally. And Spirit is like, yeah, that's because you're supposed to go that way. That's because you're supposed to do that. And that's because maybe you cannot see he was like how much more successful with this silly putty than he ever was with this. You talk about generational wealth. Talk about generational wealth, right? Still today, people are buying that. So there's something here about generational wealth. There's something here about some of you want a commitment from somebody. Somebody, Some of you want to have children. And you're worried that this is opportunity is not going to come to you. It is going to come to you. There is something that you're going to have an opportunity to make more official. You're going to be able to make like a contract in it. You're going to be able to start a new journey, live a new kind of life because of this. And this is something that you've been manifesting for quite some time here. There may be a particular person that has disappointed you time and time again, and you're saying bye to that person. You're saying bye to those types, you know, project that didn't work out. And there may be a little bit of sadness there because you did care about this. There's something about being a jack of all trades, master of none, and that's not actually true. You are a master of something, and spirit is showing you what it is, and it's not necessarily initially what you had thought. And you will know because there is nothing happening with it. It's actually very 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 like nothing is coming of it at all and something else is going to start to grow and it's going to start to pop up and you're going to see signs of it everywhere it's just going to magically work out and it's going to be easy and that's what spirit wants you to know is it's supposed to be easy it's supposed to be joyful it's supposed to be fun uh okay let me see here High Priestess and the Magician. You just know. How many times has the High Priestess come out? Okay. I put this I put this card back in the deck twice. It came out like three times. Now we have the High Priestess here. There is something here that you just know is your destiny. That you just know this manifestation is coming through. You just know it. The Spirit wants you to know. Yeah. It is coming true. So we want you to believe in it. Okay. 
I want to look at this nine of earth accumulation here. Okay, wait, what is your challenge? The balance is your challenge. Okay, what's this balance about? Okay, we have the moon here, but I want to see what this balance is about. This could be with a particular person, with a Pisces person, with a Cancer person, with a person that you're interested in. Do you know, do you need to open yourself up? Do you need to put yourself in alignment before you go around certain people and before you do certain things? That's something that's like sending me a message right now with Abraham Hicks. It's like before you do something, she calls it segment intending. So anytime you're about to go do something, you know, you put yourself into alignment first, right? You imagine it going very, very well. You put a general statement out there. I just want to have fun, right? You don't think about it like, oh, I have to meet the love of my life and he better be uh, five foot nine and he better love pickles. And oh my gosh, what if, you know, he's allergic to the kind of dog that I have and, you know, like, oh, <laughs> you know, it's like, you just want to go with a general balance, whatever to do to keep yourself into balance before you're going out into this world here. It's like something beneficial about that. You have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's like be in balance because this is how you're going to receive this Ace of Cups. This is how you're going to. It's like don't worry too much about the details. Don't overthink too much. It's all going to work out in my favor. There's something lovable right now that I could focus on. And I'm going to focus on whatever it is that that is. And I'm going to believe that everything else is just going to work out in my favor. Yeah, there's something that you're moving towards here. And it's very beneficial to you. So there's no worrying about the past and what didn't work out. And what, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda, whatever. Who cares? Uh, okay. I want to see the nine of earth. No, we have a card. You have the nine, uh, the seven of wands here. So this is a card of conviction. This is like standing up for yourself here. So there's something that you need to stick to. King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. You know... The Queen of Swords is like sticking out to me. This is really speaking to me as like somebody who is sticking out within their own mind. It's like, I'm not going to do this negative thinking anymore with everybody else around you. Yeah, I'm not doing things the way that everybody else does them. I'm just going to be my own little weird way. And I follow this way. And I feel like that's me being in my truest vibration. Okay, whatever it is, you being in your truest vibration and you doing that, that's going to lead to a lot of success for you. That's going to lead to a lot of abundance for you. And it's just, it's it's the path that is, um, you know, it's like, what's this quote about, you know, if you're walking down a path and if it's very, you know, well-traveled, well-paved path, you're probably on somebody else's path. You know, and so that's something that you have come to realize. And this is like standing up above the crowd. Look, so I feel like you're going to surprise even yourself here with this success. Because look at how, you know, this card is just like sticking out and you can see that people can see the truth. They can feel that you speak the truth. You live the truth. You vibrate at the truth and you help other people to vibrate at their truest self as well. And so it's like a good thing. Uh, I feel like you're going, you're not expecting this. You're going to surprise yourself with this recognition, with this, um, you know, accumulation of abundance of wealth that is coming to you. I feel like you're going to surprise a lot of people, a lot of people who are skeptics, a lot of people that, you know, didn't think that you could do it. And we're hoping for your demise here. And the thing is, it's like, look at the vines all over uh, this um, king of pentacles. And it's like, you know, listening to other people and their negative thinking right? They can plant seeds of doubt that will grow vines and kill, you know, even the most beautiful trees. But you know, this queen of swords, she has a sort of truth and she can cut through all of those vines. Yeah. And that's what you're doing at this time. The ones within yourself and the ones in your outside world as well. That's what you're doing. Are you kidding me right now? Empress, are you kidding me? have nothing to worry about you are doing this you are 
doing this. You are achieving greatness here. You have a lot of money coming towards you, okay? This is where you have, turn it all around. Stay positive. Follow your joy. Follow your bliss. That is the freaking way. There's so many cards flying out right now. I can't even. Okay, let's clarify this. Um, yeah, it's like there, there's some good thing that you're wanting to do. There's something that you want to do for you that's like fun okay that's bringing about some form of the word pleasure here okay and spirit wants you to know like i feel like you're learning how to balance that what what is healthy in that regard and what is not right and you're using that right because the empress you know she definitely lives this life of luxury but it's healthy luxury it's not unhealthy you know she's not um a brat she's not uh someone who you know, is, you know, it's somebody who's doing this in moderation. This is something that you built up in a healthy way. Um, and so, yeah, oh my gosh, it's like, look at this, five of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles. Whatever you think is coming to you, actually double it. <laughs> That's what's happening here. You know, you think you there's a little bit of you that's like, I'm going to be left out in the cold. I'm not going to have enough. Oh, my gosh. And I feel like you're going to be so shocked and surprised that not only are you going to have enough, you're going to have more than enough. You're building your empire and you have people showing up around you that are loyal people that are going to be your people, people that you can trust here. OK, and it's it's unexpected. It's unexpected loyalty. It's an unexpected glow up. Queen of Wands coming out again. You're standing in your own power and you're unstoppable at this time. You're unstoppable at this time. There is, wow, nothing that you cannot be or do or have. What is this? Um, I want to clarify the final outcome. Okay. This um, Ten of Swords and the High Priestess. What is this final outcome about? cups ten of cups and the ten of pentacles when they come out together this is something that's going to make you significantly happy significantly happy this is emotionally something that you have wanted for quite some time okay and there, there's a change you know the changes the death is over you know there's a lot of things that had to be cut out that had to be cut out there's a lot of boundaries that needed to be put up and that has been done and with this world card here and now look at this emperor your emperor is coming here as well. And so spirit wants you to know that communication is going to come to you from this person, okay? And this person has your best interests at heart. There's not going to be any, you know, this person is going to let you know that. <laughs> this person is going to want you to meet their friends and their family, okay? They're wanting, uh, they, they, this is a person who, you know, with this judgment card, I'm really getting that they started their life over a long time ago. They went through a very difficult time a long time ago. This is that person that really uh was met with a lot of challenges in life and they you know took them head on they took them you know an honest and a genuine approach and they went through all these hardships and they went through all these difficulties and they didn't take it out on other people and this is someone who you know took ownership and learned and grew and i don't think this is uh necessarily You know, they just went through some difficult times, but maybe not necessarily of their own doing or whatever. Um, but it's someone who learned from it and grew from it. And it's someone who everyone is like, this is just such a nice person. And they went through so many hard things. Like they could be not a nice person and it would be sort of understandable because of everything they went through, but they're not. And they healed it and they did the work and they did it the right way, you know. And this is somebody who everybody is like, man, I want to find them someone. I hope they find somebody amazing for them because this person is amazing. And the thing is, is you are amazing. You are amazing. People say that about you as well, but it's not up to this other person to, uh, you know, other people to come up to this. It is your, um, 
responsibility to be in this vibration, to know that you are worthy and you deserve to have all of this. And that is what is happening here. And this is why, you know, you have the uh, high priestess and the hierophant here, which is, you know, the divine pair here. This is an end to conflict. This is success. This is a victory. This is, you know, your fears melting away. This is no blocks moving forward. And this is something that, you know, you deserve to have happen to you in your life here. Let's see something else about this person coming in for Leo. Okay, wow. <sighs> I'll tell you why I'm laughing in a minute. You know, it says, <sighs> okay, so the first card out is the storm. I'm laughing because I just was watching the Jersey Shore and Mike, the situation, okay, he says on there, um, him and Vinny are going back and forth with quotes, you know, inspirational quotes. And he says, the devil said, watch out, a storm is coming. And he said, I whispered back, I am the storm. <laughs> I, specifically, that was the quote. And if you know his life story, he went through something very, very difficult, you know, and he went through a very difficult time. He had to deal with it. He had to deal with his sobriety, you know, becoming sober. He had to deal with um, then, uh, you know, he had to change the way that he, and he did it. He did that. You know, he's a completely different person than he was before. And this is not like people say that, but then it's like, you're just waiting for the bomb to drop here. No. You know, he changed. People can change, but they have to make that decision to change. They have to do that. And that's what it feels like has happened with this particular person here. So, you know, we have uh, the tear in the ocean, which I love it when these two cards come out together because there's a very different thing here. The tear is a drop of a water here, right? And this ocean is what? Just a multitude of drops. And if you see yourself as just a drop, as just you in this body, and that's it, you don't see yourself as connected to this universe, you know, that's how people, you know, were living before. And that's why they accept people betraying them. That's why they turn to things that are not actually healthy for them. And they allow other people to treat them in an unhealthy way, right? So I feel like this is indicating the way that this person coming towards you was before could even reflect you know for yourself maybe you had some of that going on in the past as well because you saw yourself as just this tear you know one drop in the ocean if you think about just that one drop and you know the ocean the waves can be what i don't know 30 feet high and it goes down to i don't even know how deep the ocean is right you know more than the length of Everest and you know so this one little drop is really getting thrown about here but when you identify as the entire ocean now how powerful are you you know how steady are you how stable are you how secure are you how you know capable are you of anything when you see yourself as this whole universe here right and so that's what's happening here that's called alignment and that's what you have done. You have gotten yourself into alignment. You accepted this storm. You dealt with this storm here. And you opened yourself up to look at where you were, what you were doing, and what you want to change going forward. And you allowed so much more growth and love and abundance to come into your life here. You know, the last card that you have about this person coming towards you is the one. The one. You have someone coming towards you that is the one. A lot of you maybe feel like the universe forgot about you. That that's it. Some people are just not, you know, going to have all it is that they want in this life. And that's not true. That's not true about you. That's not your destiny. That's not your fate. You are going to have somebody here who understands you, who sees the good in you and who loves you for the person that you are. 
You deserve to have your dreams come true and you're in alignment with them coming true and they're going to come true. So spirit wants you to know that. And this person is also going to be, I feel like, a very encouraging soul. They're a believer, you know. You can tell them anything and they will listen to what other people have to say. I feel like a lot of people go to them for advice. They can confide in them. I feel like this person is going to surprise you significantly because on the surface there's something there, you know, and you're not quite sure what it is. And there's something, a voice inside that's going to tell you to give this person a chance, to give this person a chance, right? And something really magical is going to happen um, because you're going to see that there's so much more to this person. And in a very beautiful way, this is all going to unfold. And it's a way, something that you have manifested and been wanting and been asking for for your whole life. But in another way, at the same time, it's so unexpected. <laughs> So, wow, this is pretty uh, profoundly beautiful here, okay? I'm seeing 4044 on the clock here. So angel number 4044, you can look that up if you want to add a message here. I'm going to pull some letters to see if you get letters of a particular person on your mind. I feel like for most of you, you know, it's a person that you just met or... You just, you know, started talking to them in this capacity or it's someone you're going to meet. So if your letters don't come out, it doesn't mean that it's not your message. If it resonated, you know, some people need an added, uh, you know, message, added sign. Okay, so you have I, R, M. D, Q, P, Y, Z, or N, take either one, right? And I, again. So, okay. Thank you so much, Leo, if this resonated and you want to like or subscribe. That would be awesome. I also have a book. It's called One Light. And it is available on Amazon. It's all about manifesting in the law of attraction. So if that's something that you feel pulled to, um, there you go. Thank you so much. And I hope I see you next time.